Hey guys, it's Cameron and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about all the reasons why you may not be seeing the results that you want. So, I actually have my waist trainer on right now. If you guys didn't know, I do have my own waist training line. I will leave it down in the description box down below so you guys can go check it out. I have multiple videos on waist training. I have an entire playlist. I will have that link down in the description box down below. I do not lie on this channel. I will tell you waist training is not a joke. It has literally transformed my body, but it has to be done correctly and too many people don't do it correctly and that's why they don't get the results. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. The first reason a lot of people are not getting the results that they want to see is that they obviously do not have the correct size. On my website, I do have the sizing chart made for someone who it's their first time waist training because there is a difference in how your body is formed if you've been waist training before as opposed to if your body if you haven't been waist training before the number one thing that i see a lot is that these girls will have their waist trainer and it basically is sitting on them like a square you don't see their kind of midpoint tapering in mine is tapering in right here that's how it's supposed to be if it's gonna work the second thing that I noticed that a lot of people say, oh, the waist trainer didn't work for me, is because they are buying waist trainers that have too much flexibility in them. I actually realized this not too long ago. I left my waist trainer from my line at my house here, and I was staying at my boyfriend's parents' house, so I borrowed one of my friend's two extra small waist trainers that she purchased from another company. It was actually a company that I had previously used before, before I made my own line. So I thought like, oh, it's no big deal. This is gonna be perfect for me it's basically considered the same exact measurements but there is a difference in that that waist trainer is much more stretchy yes those are more comfortable but you guys have to remember waist training is not meant to be comfortable I've been doing it almost six years now it's not that uncomfortable for me but it will initially when you first start be very uncomfortable I was using that waist trainer for like a month and a half I'm like what is going on like I feel like my waist is reverting back to how it used to be that's another thing that people like to say or act like waist training is a cosmetic procedure it's basically like a brace if you've ever had um, braces before you know that you have to continue to wear your retainer or your teeth will go back to how it originally is before that is exactly how it is with a waist trainer a waist trainer once you get your desired results you will continue to have to wear it like it's a brace if you don't your waistline will just expand right back to normal so if you decide you don't want to have your waistline this certain way it is not permanent whatsoever. It does not permanently disturb your body or everything like people like to act. It will just go back. So I was using this waist trainer and when I came back home and I put my own waist trainer on from my line, I'm not even trying to be like selling you guys something. I'm just telling you because I made sure that my waist trainers don't have a lot of stretch. When I put mine back on, within two days, my waistline started to go back to how it originally was. The third thing that a lot of girls do that I realized for some reason people are doing it and they're wondering why they're not getting enough results results they force themselves into these super super tiny sizes way too quickly another thing that i noticed a lot with my people that buy my products is a lot of them like to jump into the three extra small way too quickly the three extra small on my site is extremely extremely tiny i in fact only can fit into it like every once in a while like <laughs> like sometimes i can squeeze into it and sometimes i don't fit into it it's a really really tiny size and considering i started from a medium and I'm now down to an occasional three extra small, usually two extra small. My waist has gotten pretty used to waist training and even that thing is tiny on me. But a lot of times girls will like to compress themselves into these super tiny sizes to make themselves feel better because I know it's insanely gratifying to feel like you fit into this tiny size and it makes you feel so good but that's really really dangerous and it also doesn't allow you to leave your waist trainer on for an adequate amount of time you need to be wearing these waist trainers for at least five to six hours if you're only wearing it for three two to three hours it's not enough time to make any kind of difference on your body even if you're doing it for every, every day like it's just not enough time it would basically be the equivalent of working out for 10 minutes as opposed to working out for an hour it's not really gonna do that much for you. The fourth thing that I noticed, people are not pulling their waist trainers down low enough. My waist trainer goes down to here. It's kind of at my fupa, so I really need to pull it down. 
your waist trainer should basically be at your pubic line if you don't have your waist trainer pulled down to your pubic line it's not going to be hitting the area on your waistline that's supposed to be getting cinched in if it's too far up it's too concentrated on your ribs and not enough on your center line and you have to make sure that you get it right in that sweet spot so probably throughout the day you'll have to pull it down also you want to make sure that it's covering that area because people don't like to listen to <laughs> what i'd say and they wear them for eight nine ten hours a day which is really unhealthy but if you're doing that every single day because somebody's gonna do it anyway even for five to six hours you're basically creating this line on your stomach where there's this like bulge of fat coming out and what it's gonna do is just slowly but surely after a while you will start to permanently get that little bulge there because you don't have your waist trainer pulled down low enough and my last thing or reason that you might not be seeing the results that you want to see is that you are not combining your waist training methods with a clean diet and also working out we'll get you results without working out or without having a clean diet it's just not going to be the results that you want so overall a waist trainer is not going to completely get rid of all the fat that you have in your body i know a lot of people ask me well is this if i wear a waist trainer is it going to get rid of my side fat is it going to get rid of my back fat it's not like a like a virtual cardio if you want to get rid of fat you just have to go to the gym you have to do cardio i know y'all don't want to hear it i definitely don't want to hear it but you have to go do cardio it's not a replacement for the gym all it does is it redistributes fat a little bit better waist training is basically going to be responsible for about 25 to 30 percent of your body transformation and the way for your waistline to look super super tiny is to build out your lower body so obviously you would have to hit leg day for me when i was weight training that's what made my waist look super super tiny and now I'm not along I'm no longer so I'm noticing that my waist does not look as tiny as it used to be because I've lost a lot of the muscle in my legs you get maximum results when you are combining those three things together a clean diet waist training and working out and just a reminder I just want to tell you guys if you're doing waist training don't do it because you want to fit into this thick trend that everybody's doing I actually started waist training way before people were even obsessed with thick girls it was just something that i wanted to do it needs to be a you thing because it's very easy to get sucked into these trends and do stuff that you know isn't healthy for you i've seen way too many girls that tell me that they just want to get immediate results right away and they're waist training in a very unhealthy way this is why waist training gets such a bad rep please do not wear it for nine ten hours a day please do not work out in it that is very very dangerous you are already having a hard time breathing waist training does restrict your breathing in a way please do not wear to sleep because it is uncomfortable during the day so you want to sleep so you don't feel that discomfort your body is telling you that you are uncomfortable for a reason if that discomfort is too much you need to take it off you don't need to be sleeping to ignore it it can be taken to a very very bad extreme they get such a horrible rep because people do things way too extreme to try and reach this body type that we are just told is the epitome of beauty beautiful is you do it for you not because you want to look like kim kardashian or somebody else you know it's like working out it takes time but i promise you in the end it is worth it so if you guys are interested in purchasing a k white waist trainer that will be down in the description box down below i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching make sure you give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe and follow all my social media it will be down in the description box down below but that's gonna be it i will see you guys next time bye Making money like a mint, laying in my ice like shrimp, like shrimp, like shrimp. Making dishes.